I'm a very awkward person, if you can already tell. I have a lot of anxiety about pretty much anything. I don't like to social and I barely want to talk to anybody new if I'm not their photographer. So if you want to know me, you kind of have to have me take your pictures first. Anybody wants to be my friend? Anybody? Nobody? So why do I love portrait photography so much then? I should be doing landscape, stills, food, wildlife. <gasps> there is a giant lizard in the studio right now! Oh my god! Oh my lord! Ah. Oh my god, it's huge! Maybe not wildlife. <laughs> and yet, I take pictures of people. Because people are so complex and fascinating. A couple of months ago, a friend and I tried to start a podcast about us talking to people from different industry and learn their life story. I know, just like everybody else who tried to start a podcast. We started a channel, took a profile picture, had a meeting with a bunch of people. And finally, we recorded our first episode. We wrote down a whole list of questions. My friend was doing the interview, I was doing the recording. This is our guest. I took this picture right before we started. And then we talked for hours. Interviewing people is not easy. You would assume you ask them a meaningful question and they will give you a meaningful answer. Or at least they will give you a real answer. Not to say our guest is not being real with us, but do you remember meeting someone for the first time? That's right. People are all wearing clothes. What am I talking about? Huh? Of course everybody is wearing clothes. I hope nobody is running around naked. That's not only weird and illegal, I think. People are all wearing this protective layer, an image that we want other people to see. The way we sit, the way we talk, the way we smile, the clothes we wear. It's all projecting this image. And the most of the time, when the camera is on, this image is more visible than ever. Well, there are some cool kids out there who carry themselves like who they really are. They don't care to have this nicer layer. That's so cool. I admire those people. I think the question is, is this the image we wanted to capture? I always think a portraiture is one or another or a combination of these four things. One, how your subject look like. Two, how your subject want themselves to look like. Three, how the photographer sees the subject. Four, how the photographer want the subject to look like. I know, it's a bit confusing. Sometimes they can all be the same thing, and sometimes they can be totally different. Let me explain. I think I'm overthinking this. Am I overthinking this? Am I always overthinking about everything? Definitely overthinking about this. Number one, how your subject look like. It's their basic appearance, their physical feature. It can extend it to their wardrobe, their makeup, hairstyle, etc. This is the baseline that we can work with. Just like the snapshot I took. Him sitting there. Number two, how's the subject want themselves to look like? This could be the purpose of the photo shoot. For example, if it's for their resume, they would want to look professional. If it's for their wedding invitation, they want to look in love. If it's for their Tinder page... Oh yeah, that's the thing. Some people take online dating very seriously. Do they want to look sexy? Do they want to look cool? Do they want to look knowledgeable? Or some people just want to look like Kim Kardashian or... Who is the popular internet dude right now? I don't know, I don't internet. Number three, how the photographer sees the subject. This is for one, on the visual base, like what kind of background color complement, what kind of skin type, what type of lighting and the focal lens suits the subject's appearance. And for two, do you see their personality? Do you see them as sexy or cool or knowledgeable? And what kind of wardrobe or pose or lighting or lens choice fits their character? Number four, 
is how the photographer want the subject to look like. You, the photographer, are creating a vision. They could be the most funny person in the world, but you don't want them to smile. They could be the most powerful person in the world, and you want them to look vulnerable. You can put them in dramatic clothes or remove their makeup, or have them just sit in the center of the room doing nothing. I'm waiting for the art to happen. You project your idea onto their reality, a photograph at your creation. You might notice that I used a few masters photographers' work as example in the last paragraph. However, we're not always in that position, especially when we're getting paid to take a portraiture. It's between us and the client to decide how much of the creative freedom we will have and how much time we will have with them. When Yusuf Karsh photographed Winston Churchill, he only has three minutes, but I'm sure. He's very well aware who Churchill is. I struggled the same thing, not knowing who they are as a person that I'm photographing. Most of the time, when I'm meeting a client, I'm giving certain amount of time to take photos of them. As long as the photo came out pretty, I've done my job. But how do I push it further? During the hours-long conversation with our guest. That day, some on camera, some off camera. I started to be able to form an image of him, not just how he looked like, but how I saw him. We talked about childhood, dreams, hobbies, living life abroad, loved ones, losing loved ones. He's fun, polite, enthusiastic. He has big hopes towards the future, but there are also a lot of weight on his shoulder. Some sadness he tried to hide. 就是很悲观呀，但是所以其实就是说笑的这种状态其实是。I mean, don't we all have sadness we try to hide? The podcast for many reasons didn't go on, but I'm so glad I had this opportunity to talk to a stranger for hours and then take their picture. And I'm so grateful for him to letting me use his picture and footage for this video. For how awkward a person I am, I have so much passion about portrait photography. For a glimpse of second, I have a chance to capture a piece of truth of another human being, and that is great. For today's video, go find someone who's willing to talk to you for an hour or two, and then take a picture. See if anything changes. Let me know in the comment below. And this is Sam. I will see you next week. Bye.